Arjuna asks Krishna, does not the worldly man, being deviated from the path of transcendence, perish like a rent cloud with no position in any sphere? Feelings are like water, so Arjuna's use of a simile, like a rent cloud, is an astute way of presenting his question. Feelings rise like mist and fall like rain. Negative feelings gather like clouds that block the sun. And when a cloud is rent of the water within it, there's simply nothing left to see or talk about. The evidence lies on the ground in the form of rain that nourishes the plant and animal kingdoms. You can't stop feeling any more than you can stop thinking. You can distract yourself from your thoughts by getting off a particular train of thought at an unknown station and getting on board another train going another direction. But without meditation, this changing of trains will happen unconsciously. In this way, the mind avoids the singular direction of death and God, everyone's true destination. Feelings are like rent clouds. Feelings are like train tracks. Feelings are like the colors of the rainbow. Unless you understand the similes brought to the world by the Prophet Muhammad, you'll get stuck with literal thinking about mystical matters. Unless you've studied the directions your trains of thoughts typically go in, and unless you observe the tracks, feelings, on which those trains are moving, you aren't going to perceive the spheres of influence within you that present you with the landscape you see around you in the world we share. Your trains of thought carry boxcars full of information as well as images of people. Your locomotive is fueled by willpower, curiosity, and a desire to learn. Temptation and revenge will cause you to jump the tracks. Train travel in the mystical sense is a metaphor for transcendentalism. Who is seated beside you and what you see out the window onto the world depends on God. There are no coincidences. What appears to be myriad forces, gods, are all aspects of the one God who created us all. Krishna, the avatar of God through our senses, is guiding Arjuna to see that his head, heart, soul, navel, genital, and anus are spiritual aspects of his mystical vehicle. Good thoughts. We'll talk again tomorrow.